It's just a few days. Hey, listen. I'm happy you booked a week's gig in Manhattan, okay? It, it's not about the job, Karen. We could spend a whole week together, alone. Think about it. <laughs> great food. Mm, great music. Me. <laughs> Well, maybe if I had a little bit more notice. Or maybe if you were a little more spontaneous. Listen, I'm catching a cold. And besides, I've got responsibilities. Ricky, OK? I can't just drop my patience and yeah, take yeah, off yeah. whenever the mood strikes. Which you take very seriously. Sometimes too seriously, which is why I'm giving you permission to play. OK, did you even hear a word I said? I'm a doctor, okay? Not some flaky groupie. I can't just take off with you, all right? The answer's no. Uh, 99, let's go. One more, one more. Come on, rock. Ah, there you go. That'll Thank work you. Out. <laughs> Are you sure that we should even be out in this park frolicking about after the Shadow Man just attacked his last victim? Because I'm too tired to run. Well, if that is why you got to keep pumping those abs. Rumor is Shadow Man's going to need a sidekick. <laughs> Can you just see me? That's that's gonna be my next career move. I'm gonna be shadow at. <laughs> Help me out. Yeah, you get that. <sighs> wow. How uh, what? It's just good to see you smiling again. It's kind of cute. Oh, oh, thank you. And you know that was a uh, really dirty trick you pulled there, Jack Ramsey. What? Locking you and Rafe in the attic. Yeah. Hey, that's what friends are for, right? Well, thank you. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> so I guess everything went okay, huh? I think he still feels, you know, responsibility to Livy and the baby, but the longer that we spent together, it seems like the closer we got. He just sort of seemed to... Alice! Thanks, fast. Have you seen Livy? She didn't come home at all last night. I'm worried about her. Okay, the catalog says, oh, this thing can detect energy forces, so... If the Shadow Man's been here, which I know he has, he would emit some kind of energy force that wasn't entirely human. Here we go. Anyone there? Hello? Okay, whoever you are, Okay, so if you think you can mess with me... This can't be good. Ah! Chill out, Karen. I mean, what's the problem here? I already told you what the problem is. In fact, I told you three times that I couldn't go with you to New York, but you completely tuned me out. I mean, you just want me to toss my job aside and follow you everywhere, which I can't do because I have responsibilities. Yeah, yeah you, you said that. You know, it may not involve bright lights and applause, but medicine's my passion, just like music is yours. So don't ask me to ditch my life and, and go party with you in New York. Because if that's the kind of girl you want, whoa, 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 I... Wait, wait, wait. Time out here. What's going on here? I just asked you to take a few days off, not to run away and join the circus. Karen, I'm proud of what you do. I would never ask you to give up anything for me. I just have people depending on me, okay? So you just might want to rethink this. Us. <laughs> what you... What just, what just happened here? I mean, what the hell just happened? I mean, we were laughing, kissing. That was you, wasn't it? And then I asked you to go away with me, and all of a sudden we're into this heavy rap about our relationship not working out. Did I miss something? Well, should we be having this conversation? You want to know what I think? Yeah, that we're not well suited for each other, I know. No. What I think is that every time that we take a step closer, every time that our relationship starts to go somewhere, you run away. You put this wall up, or like now, you pick a fight. So tell me the truth, Karen. Is this really about us going away to Manhattan, or are you just looking to blow this thing up? 
Oh. Jamal. What? Who'd you think I was? Not you, okay? You shouldn't go sneaking up around but, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn. Yeah, calm yourself down. Yeah. Look, I wasn't sneaking up on you, okay? I followed you here. Oh, so you're stalking me and that's better? No, why don't you get over yourself? I was not stalking you. Okay, I just wanted to find out why you ditched me last night. Because so? I found out all I needed to know from you about life in Port Charles, which, you know, really wasn't anything at all. Okay. I endured your insults. And you know what? I knew if I met your friends, all they would do is talk and talk and talk about how much I look like this girl, Casey. Casey. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Besides, I'm here to work. Right. And this is one of the last places the Shadow Man was seen. And uh, what are you doing with that shoe? Where'd you find it? Oh, wait, you must be using that for some kind of bait. You're going to lure him out with that, right? No, no, I found it. Uh huh? See, and, you know, I think it might be the Shadow Man's latest victim because no one loses just one yeah. shoe, right? You're right, yeah. And see, the shadowy Avenger obviously doesn't want his identity known, so I figured the woods. The woods is a good hiding place. Yeah, perfect. What? What? Well, what's so funny? Nothing. You just... I was thinking you're going to fit right in here. Uh -huh. Huh. Busy people. You can go now. Look, Marissa, look, it's, it's, it's dangerous out here in the woods, okay? Seriously. Okay, especially with this hooded lunatic running around, so mm. why don't you just let me stay with you while you do your thing and... Uh, and I'll be fine. You know, I've taken kickboxing, tai chi, and I do have a brown belt. Right. Right. So I've heard. It's armed and extremely dangerous. Believe it. Okay, anybody who messes with me does so at their own risk. Got it? Got it. Well, hey, look, looks like uh, you might have found a dime there. You want me to help you look for it? You gonna help me or what? No, I just wanted to sit back and watch you kickbox your way out of this. Why do you think we would have seen it? Because I checked everywhere else. Well, did you try her and her dad's? Yeah, look there. She's not at the hospital either. Well, sorry, can't help you. You know what? None of this would have happened if you hadn't stuck your nose in our business. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. What's your problem, man? You got nothing better to do than go around messing with I've other people's lives? I've got a lot lives. of things I could do better than this besides talk to you. If I had been home when I was supposed to be, my wife wouldn't be missing right now. You want now. to talk about your wife, Rafe? Huh? Because I know her a lot better than you do. This is what she does. She disappears and she makes everyone crazy. Don't you worry. She'll come home. She'll make that grand entrance. Okay, what if you're wrong? What, what if something really did happen to her? Do you have an answer for that, genius? Okay, okay. She is upset, she's pregnant, and she's missing. And she's playing you like some cheap guitar. You guys. Look, I know you lost your memory, Rafe, but what happened to that brain of yours, huh? Jack, this is not No, Livy is not missing. She's hiding, and she's plotting her next move. And if she seems a little upset, it's probably because all the lies she's been telling are catching up with her. Yeah, and another thing. Even if she is pregnant, which I doubt she is. How do you know it's even yours? I'm not looking for a way out. <laughs> well, you could have fooled me. I'm not, okay? It's just that this is new. Yeah, and you're worried about what people might think. Because after all, you're a doctor. And not just some ex-con who plays the drums in a rock and roll band. Hey, it's not exactly the image that you might want to put out there. I used to be a stripper, remember? <laughs> right. Great. So if that's not it, then what is it? It's just sometimes I feel like we look at life differently. You know, you, you see it as one big party. And you see it as what? One big drag? No, you're not listening to me. All I'm saying is that I'm not like your other girlfriends, okay? I'm not Casey. Wait, wait, wait. Why bring Casey into this? Have I ever said anything to you about her? All I'm saying is sometimes I think you wish I was more like her. What does Casey have to do with us? What does she have to do with anything? I know she was a lot of fun. I know you don't talk about her the way I talk about Frank. Yeah, that's because there's nothing to say. I know she was important to you. Casey's dead, Karen, all right? So would you just let it go? She's dead. I'd... I mean, when did this happen? I, I thought she left town. You never mentioned she died. It's not my favorite subject. What? Well, you must have been devastated and you never said a word to me. Look, Karen, Casey knew that she had a short time left, all right? I knew the deal. She didn't want anybody else to know. But still, I must have broken your heart. 
Things happen, right? I gotta go. Uh, a lot of things to do before the trip, you know? Another day, another party, right? But you wait. 